Hey everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world. I'm your host Elias, and yes, I am wearing my NASA hoodie today because NASA made a very special announcement I will be sharing with you in just a minute. But stay tuned after my video report because I have an announcement of my own related <laughs> to this announcement. So anyway, stay tuned. Let's roll the NASA report. Acknowledging the fact that thousands of new worlds have already been found around other stars, NASA has chartered into a new mission to discover the planets not yet discovered. The mission is called TESS, Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. TESS will disembark on a two-year mission to hunt for new planets orbiting bright new stars. TESS will scan the skies for planets ranging in size from Earth to as giant as Jupiter. According to NASA, TESS will search for these new worlds or exoplanets using transits, the same method as the Kepler mission. As a planet passes in front of its star, it blocks some of the light causing a slight drop in brightness. TESS can detect those subtle dips and even use them to determine some basic features of the planet such as size and orbit. It is equipped with four 16.8 megapixel sensor cameras covering a 24 degree square large enough to contain an entire constellation. TESS has these cameras arranged to view a vertical strip of the sky called an observation sector. It will monitor that observation sector for about 27 days before rotating to the next one, covering first the south and then the north to eventually map 85% of the sky. NASA continues to say that this coverage is about 350 times what Kepler first observed, making TESS the first exoplanet mission to survey almost the entire sky. TESS will fly in a highly elliptical orbit that maximizes the amount of sky the spacecraft can image and is carefully timed with the orbit of the moon. It will spend most of its 13.7 day orbit collecting data, and then as it passes closer to Earth, it will transmit that data back to the ground. Because TESS's observation sectors overlap, it will have an area near the pole under constant observation. This is a region already monitored by the James Webb Space Telescope, which allows the two missions to work together and help scientists better understand the data. The data I'm talking about, of course, comes from measuring, capturing that light from those stars. Each planet is going to give out clues from the way it absorbs and emits light. This will help determine the planet's mass, density, atmospheric composition, and give researchers more clues as to whether the planet could possibly harbor life. NASA appropriately believes that TESS is the vanguard of a new era of exoplanet study that will forever expand our understanding of worlds beyond our own. To boldly discover where no planets have been discovered ever before. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but I think you get my point. That was an exciting announcement from NASA, and I have an announcement of my own. I'll be on site to cover the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launch for the test mission April 15th to the 16th. The launch will occur on the 16th. Pretty exciting stuff. So stay tuned for more information. I'll be sure to do a shout out for some of you guys when I do some of my live uh, broadcasts from there. So stay tuned for more information. Glad you stayed with me. Until next time, thank you for watching Smart Robots Review.